Okay, so question eight. Uh, what are the intermolecular forces between the molecules of methanol? Okay, so let's draw out a methanol molecule. Okay, so this is the structure of methanol, and you'll see that it has a carbon bonded with three hydrogens and also an oxygen. And if we note the electronegativity values of carbon and oxygen, you'll see that carbon is much less electronegative than the oxygen. So this means that there is an uneven share of electrons in the carbon and oxygen bond. So we can draw a dipole moment going towards the direction of the oxygen since it is more electronegative. It tends to pull the electrons more strongly than our carbon atom. So because of this uneven sharing of electrons, uh, the methanol molecule contains a partially negative side in the direction of the alcohol group and a partially positive side. Uh, so what happens when we have multiple molecules of methanol is that uh, the partially negative side of one methanol molecule would be attracted to the partially positive side of another methanol molecule. So this attraction is called hydrogen bonding. So that's one example of an intermolecular force. And this is how multiple methanol molecules can be attracted together. I'll just draw another one for good measure, just kind of showing that that is what hydrogen bonding is. So similarly, uh, this is also known as like a dipole-dipole interaction. Hydrogen bonding is just specifically involves hydrogen. And lastly, another intermolecular force that can take place uh, is called London dispersion forces. So when we have London dispersion forces, uh, this is when the electrons in two adjacent atoms occupy positions. that make atoms form temporary dipoles. Okay, so these are three different types of intermolecular forces um, that can take place between the molecules of methanol. So the junior tutor said, to answer this question, we need to review first the concept of intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces are forces that hold molecules together in a liquid or a solid. In general, intermolecular forces are much weaker than intramolecular forces such as covalent bonds. Intermolecular forces play an important role in the melting points of solids and the boiling points of liquids. The liquid boils when the molecules have gained enough energy to break the intermolecular attractive forces. In the same manner, 
Solids melt when the molecule has enough energy to overcome the intermolecular attractive forces that hold the molecules together. There are three types of intermolecular forces. These are dipole-dipole, London dispersion, and hydrogen bonding. Image below shows the molecular structure of methanol. So methanol molecules contain oxygen and hydrogen, which has a high difference in terms of electronegativity. This results to dipole-dipole interactions between the partially positive hydrogen and partially negative oxygens of two separate uh, molecules. This is called hydrogen bonding, which is an extreme type of dipole-dipole interaction. So let me just make sure that this is correct. When dipole dipole interactions between the partially positive hydrogen on one molecule. Partially negative oxygen on another is called hydrogen bonding. Thank you.